and the good Lord works in mysterious ways. If they give you that feeling, trust your gut and get out of the way. Some families are waking up to storm damage outside again. The high winds and rain knocked down trees and caused a property to collapse overnight. It was a close call for a woman at a senior living facility in Weston. As the storm intensified overnight, she moved from her bedroom into the living room, and then this massive tree ended up falling on her bedroom. Amazingly, no one was hurt. Morning storms also cracking trees and taking down buildings outside of Lawson, Missouri. People living in the area say it's been one of the windiest springs in quite some time. Fox 4's Jacob Kittlesad joins us live from the Clay County side of the metro. And Jake, the damage worsens the farther east you travel. Yeah, that's right. You know, out here it's the rural spots where you see a home every quarter mile or so that are the worst hit. Still, we saw a lot of damage encroaching those outdoor structures. A fallen pin oak limb scratches the side porch of this remote home on the Ray County side of Lawson. With surrounding woodlands also showing damaged treetops from strong winds. This metal building closer to town had its roof and siding ripped off. It's pretty windy out here. Yeah, it was just straw. I mean, I was sleeping. All we lost was some ducks. Their duck house flew away. Wait, so you have ducks that you're missing now or, or just the house? I don't know where the ducks are. I'm sure they're with the other ducks in the bigger coop, but the big coop stayed. I heard the wind. I, li I live in a mobile home, mm -hmm. and I heard the wind when it went over, and I told the wife, I said, and I could hear 10 banging together, and uh, I, like I say, I looked out, and I had furniture all over my yard. So nothing came in from the neighbors because I could use some new furniture, but... <laughs> This Fox 4 viewer video from Holt, Missouri to the west shows more of the destructive power of the morning storms, throwing metal siding and uprooting a giant tree. In Lawson, the windy weather is wearing on some neighbors. It's probably the worst I've ever seen. I don't know what the miles mm -hmm. per hour was. They said we were supposed to get 60 mile an hour gust mm -hmm. on my uh, weather radio. And I tell you what, when it comes on, I'm, it means business. They don't make them weather radios, you know, just to sit there and listen to. Had a picnic last Sunday is what it was, and it was a great day. You know, nobody lost their styrofoam plates or anything like that. But uh, that's the first time we've been able to get out and eat outside. Now, rural power in this area has since been turned back on and fixed. It's just been a very wet day dealing with a lot of debris out here. I've been talking about it with Fox 4 meteorologist Jacob Lanier back there in the studio. Jake, you've been tracking this damage as well. Yeah, that's right, Jake. We've been watching the storms. They rolled through early this morning and the worst damage kind of as you've seen is really in the Northland kind of from downtown Kansas City and I 70 up north. That's where a lot of this tree damage was our strongest gust around 65 miles per hour through Leavenworth, Platte, Clay and into Ray County. There's some damage even further north and we also had some quarter sized hail there on the north side of the metro as well from this morning. So some of the worst damage they're tracking. This was straight light winds. The National Weather Service uh, saying this is all straight line wind damage, so not seeing any tornadoes this morning, which was good news. But still, as you saw, those straight line winds can cause a lot of damage.